I had a very good friend of mine tell me that one of the videos I did previously, around 2009, was one of the best videos he ever watched. I'm going to try and recreate it because that video no longer exists. It's lost in eternity. Except in the minds of the people who remember it. This message to everybody who's out there who sees something wrong, tries to tell other people about it and you feel alone. You're not alone. If you see something wrong with the way the courts are handling cases, if you see something wrong with the way the police are treating the people, if you see something wrong with the fact that our government is printing money out of thin air, no longer has a commodities-backed currency, if you see something wrong with how the media completely ignores certain facets of a presidential candidate's history, if you see something wrong with the official government story of 9-11, if you see something wrong with the official government story of Osama bin Laden being killed during a raid, if you see something wrong with the way things are going and the direction our country is headed, you're not alone. You are not alone. There are millions of us, tens of millions of us, who are waking up to the fact that our country, this nation, is taking a rocket ship straight to hell. You can assign whatever religious, um, I guess, uh, designation to it you want, prophecy, whatever. The truth of the matter is that the corruption is so thick in our state houses and in Washington, D.C., that it's pretty much inevitable. Unless we turn things around like right fucking quick. If you felt compelled to buy a firearm and plenty of ammo and food and supplies when Obama was elected, you're not alone. If you look at the news and you say, you know what, that's such bullshit, you're not alone. If you look at people these days and how they're obsessed with Justin Bieber and shit like that, and you, 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 you shake your head and you go, you know what, man? And you just kind of shake your head. You're not alone. You know? If you feel an overwhelming compunction to arm yourself for your own protection, stock up on food, tell other people what's going on, try and warn people, and if people look at you like you're fucking crazy, you're not alone. You are not alone. And let me, let me welcome you to the people who are awake. You see, this has happened before. I've had conversations with members of my family, people who said, oh, that can't happen here. That can't happen here. Guess what? It's already happened. This nation was born out of revolution because the government was stepping on our feet, stepping all over our rights as people, as citizens of a civilized nation. It happened again during the Civil War. Americans fighting Americans. It's just a matter of time. It's not, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. They are printing money out of thin air. It's not worth anything. The price of oil is going up way past where it should be, way past where it should be. It's about twice as what it should be. Our government doesn't listen to us. When we said we didn't want Obamacare and we showed up in droves at protests and town hall meetings, they didn't fucking listen. They didn't give a shit. They don't give a shit. If you're starting to just wake up to this fact, you're not alone. Trying to tell other people about this is like beating your head up against a brick wall. I know the feeling. I've tried to tell members of my family they're not having it. They're still stuck in that Republican-Democrat bullshit. The big fucking lie. The two-headed monster. They're still stuck in that. Yeah. Ignorance is bliss. If you thought it was ridiculous when you saw Obama's inauguration and you saw people crying crying just <laughs> tears streaming down you thought that was fucking ridiculous you're not alone <laughs> you're really not alone on that one 
if you want a better future for future generations, future where people can keep most of their money, if you think we're taxed too much, if you think the government does not have your best interest in mind, you're not alone. What can I say? You may feel like you're all alone, but you're not. And if you're watching this video, chances are you and I have something, a little something, something in common. At least one of these things that I've talked about in common. While I think a brute force takeover or an attempt at a brute force takeover by our government is unlikely, can't tell me that they haven't thought about it. But there's just too many of us. We outnumber them 100 to 1. Don't ever forget that. 100 to 1. Sure, people will come out and say, yeah, but you know, you're going to be up against trained soldiers and SWAT teams. Now, unless they've got 100 million SWAT teams, that ain't going to happen. Not to mention the fact that many police, military personnel, they see what's happening in our country. And they will be sympathetic when the time comes. So we won't be alone. Just my two cents. Don't feel like you're crazy. You're not. Chances are, you're right. <laughs>